I'm here with Representative Sean Dooley, someone that everyone's pretty familiar with in town. And we're up at the second floor of the town hall. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on today? Well, we're doing, we, we started early voting for the presidential primary. The first time Massachusetts has done early voting for a primary. So it's you know, a little bit of a learning curve, but we have a lot of wonderful volunteers in the pack that are, are doing it. We've had a really good turnout so far. We've had roughly about 700 people show up to early vote for the primary. And it's been great. It's been very, very positive. We've got a good vibe going on. And so hopefully this will get more people out to vote. And now if you do miss the opportunity to early vote, when is the actual election going up? The actual election's on Tuesday, uh, March 3rd. And we open an hour earlier than most of the towns in Massachusetts. Uh, so 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. So all day long. And, if, and in the meantime, if early voting ends at 1 o'clock on Friday, you can absentee vote up until noon on Monday. So Is that overly complicated? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of opportunities for people to vote. Right. So this uh, coming Tuesday is March 3rd. That's the actual day to vote. It's going right. to be still right here. No, no. It's going to be at the Senior Center on Ice House Road. Regular, full-blown, you know, you know, regular voting with all the voting booths and everything set up that day. So it'll be, it'll be just like when you vote in November or vote for town, you know, town elections. Exact same thing. You know, all four precincts are there, so we don't, you don't have to worry about where you're going. And uh, like I said, 6 a.m. till 8 p.m. And then uh, we actually have a town election as well coming up. Right. And that's, uh, when is that going to be? And that's that's on the 30th. And uh, the, I think we're finishing up the ballots right now. And so those will get posted on the town clerk's website any day now. And so that'll be the 30th. And that will also be at over on Ice House Road at the Senior Center. Fantastic. And as viewers should know, and they might be a little confused as to why their representative is here <laughs> for uh, town elections, can you tell us a little bit about, uh, it's a huge favor that you're actually doing for the town of Medfield. Yeah, I, well, I was going to say, it's, it, it's, 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 I love elections. It's a lot of fun. But I used to be a town clerk, and um, you know, uh, the Medfield town clerk, for, who for the past 25 years, um, retired on, on Valentine's Day. And unfortunately, they never had an assistant, and so there wasn't really any backup in place. And so it became a little bit of an emergency situation. And so they tried to get, you know, an expert from around the state, a retired clerk. And unfortunately, since it was kind of late notice, they weren't able to find anyone. So uh, Christine, the town administrator, and some of the suckmen called me up, and they're like, hey, we have a question. I was wondering if you could do us a favor. And I'm like, oh. Um, so yeah, I, I love doing elections. It's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. I, and I would hate for something silly to happen. I mean, I'm a you know, former town clerk, I'm a certified municipal clerk, so I have all the, all the training. I'm on election laws uh, you know, commission up you know, with the Secretary of State. So we're able to do a lot of things and I have a good relationship with everybody up there. So it's, it's been fun. We've brought on an assistant town clerk and she got trained up for you know, a week and a half by Carol before. And so it's, uh, I, think it, I think it's gonna go great. I'm very, very positive. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, the plan is to go off without a hitch. That's so. awesome, and I know I speak for the rest of the residents of Medfield when I say thank you so much. No, nope, it's, 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 it's to have a representative. Uh, uh, like that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say my wife is a little. Uh, she's like, now you're doing what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're, we're getting a babysitter. Why? Okay, okay, right. You know, so it's uh, it, it, it's been a, it's been a little bit of a, you know, interesting between you know having four kids and you know. A, you know, my day job, you know, being a state rep, so I've had to go back and forth to the state house a couple, you know, a couple times in between. Um, so, but it's but it's been good. So it's and, and the people here are lovely, and you know, we have a ton of great you know volunteers and poll workers, and so it's it's been a really really fun experience. So I'm I'm looking forward to election day. I'm gonna hopefully have some you know jazz it up a little bit, you know, a little more uh, red, white, and blue, and you know, hopefully Medfield TV can bring over some music Absolutely. and we'll, we'll, we'll make it a really festive. I, I love Election Day. I think it's important to have the community involved and you know, celebrate you know, America, celebrate democracy, uh, see your neighbors, make it more of a community event as opposed to just going in, you know, pressing in and you know, vote and then leaving. You know, ha try to make it fun and, and, and get a lot of people there. We're hopefully going to have a bunch of the kids from the high school um, you know, doing some of their service hours. They're going to be helping. You know, I, you know, I bought a bunch of American flags to give out to little kids, and we've got the I Voted sticker. So hopefully, you know, not necessarily a carnival-like atmosphere, but a very uh, fun, quintessential New England, you know, That's awesome. town event. Absolutely. Well, so, thank you so much for doing hey, this. Thank you for, hey, thanks for, thanks for stopping yeah. by and, uh, and, and saying hi. Yeah, and make care. sure everyone comes out and votes.